So we're now in the position where we can install libxml2. Let's just check the version number again. And download it. Extract the file. And now we can start building this. Oh, sorry, there's an optional test suite there. Let's see that. Okay, let's download that as well. So I'm going to remove that directory just so we can start from the build process as we do normally without getting confused or forgetting where we've got to. So I'll just switch back and download that test suite. Okay, it's done. So it extracts it again. Okay, so the first thing it says if you're going to run the test, disable one test that prevents the test from completing. So let's copy that first command, which is this set command here. And then configure by running in those commands there. And you'll see I've copied, go back and do it again, the make has got the highlight after it, so that means the new line's been copied. So when I paste it this time, it's just going to fire off and didn't give me a chance to check that what I'd copied was correct. So it's not something you want to do normally. Okay, that's finished. That was quick. So to run the test, we need to extract the test package. And it says to run the tests with this command here. So obviously if everything's being piped or redirected rather into check.log file. So there's nothing going to appear on the screen. And we've got a command here to get a summary when it's finished. That's done. So let's get a copy of. I'll have to get this up to get the complete command. Okay, it's taking that new line as well, unfortunately. So I'll type in grep minus e manually. So it says total of 3,000 tests, no errors, 9 tests, no errors, functions, no errors, 15 errors, but they were expected, no leaks, so that looks like a good, a good test run. If tests use, like I said, pass extended. All right, so saying if the machine you run the test on servers of website, the test may hang. Well, it doesn't, so we can um, ignore that. There's no server to shut down. So all we need to do now is to install the package. All 
Oh, right, okay. I've gone through all that and I've forgotten yet again to look at the command explanations. Um, so what I'm going to do is to rebuild it and go through all this again, unfortunately, but it will enable ICU, which we've installed, and there's an option here to enable multi-thread support, which wasn't in the config command. So to do this, I'll come back out, delete the directory, and this, I suppose, is an example of what to do if, if you make a mistake yourself or if you need to rebuild the package for some reason. Just start right from scratch. Don't even reuse the source directory that you've already used once. So extract the package again, change into it. So we've got this set command to do again. One. In fact, in theory, I should be able to uh, recall these in the history. So I'll recall the configure command. There it is. And there's the end of it there, just before that double ampersand. So I'll scroll down. So disable statics in there with history is in there. With Python is there. That's oh, interesting. It says now building the XML module with Python 3 instead of Python 2. And yet, oh no, yeah, Python 2 was optional. So maybe it was unnecessary to install Python anyway, but there you go. Um, that's why it's always a good idea just to quickly scan the um, instructions, I guess. So we're going to add in with... Oops, I can't paste this, of course. Thinking I can. So I'll just type this in with ICU. And the other one is threads to allow multi-threaded support. Okay, so now we can extract the tests. That function, that command. Run the tests. and check the output and again we've got no errors and no leaks so the test passed again so that's good so we'll just install again and that's done so we'll tidy up and I've just got to find what section this is in. General Utilities number 9, so it's lib XML and ticket off is completed.
Okay. So that one can go now. <laughs> 